Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harriton from LearnYourLand.com and I'm here today to discuss one of my favorite medicinal mushrooms and that is Ganoderma suge or the reishi mushroom. Now some people pronounce it reishi, some pronounce it reishi. I was always taught reishi so that's what I'm going to say for the rest of this video. And Ganoderma suge, its Latin name comes from suga canadensis or the eastern hemlock tree. And if you look all around me, I am primarily in an eastern hemlock forest right now. There are some birch trees, some beech trees as well but primarily eastern hemlock, and Suga canadensis is the substrate on which this mushroom grows. So right now it's June in Pennsylvania, it's the perfect time to get out and look for this mushroom. Sometimes you'll even find this in October and November, buried under the snow sometimes, and I've even found a fresh fruiting body in December. So it tends to have a second fruiting cycle, usually in the fall, sometimes into early winter here in the northeastern United States. But now's the perfect time to look for it. And what you're going to look for, this is a dried one right now, but when it's fresh, when it's younger, it'll be yellow into orange into a fiery red. And as this mushroom matures, it turns into a maroon, dark red color. And I like to harvest this as it gets a little bit older. That way it has a chance to grow, to produce spores, and to drop these spores so that it increases the likelihood that this mushroom will be able to reproduce successfully in the next generation. I love this medicinal mushroom because it's got so many great benefits for health. And this is a very well researched medicinal mushroom. There are lots of studies on this, primarily with immune system support. So we see that like most medicinal mushrooms, this mushroom, Ganoderma suge, has immunomodulatory properties. Now what does that mean? Well immunomodulation is essentially regulating the immune system, meaning it can stimulate the immune system or it can bring it back down depending on the circumstances. So we might need to stimulate our immune systems when our immune systems are not working so well. We might need to bring it back down in cases of autoimmune conditions, maybe like allergies. And this mushroom is good for that and it prevents the immune system from going out of whack in any one direction too far. There's also good research showing that this mushroom possesses anti-cancerous properties. We see research that this is effective against certain cell cultures like neuroblastoma, which is usually a cancer which afflicts children ages 10 and younger, but also liver cancer, breast cancer, and colorectal cancer as well. And exciting new research, just from 2015, earlier in the year, shows that this mushroom may help to prevent allergies. And how this works is that there are certain compounds, certain fractions known as triterpenoids in this mushroom, which are usually alcohol extractable, meaning you would have to use a non-polar solvent to get them out. But triterpenoids can help to inhibit or suppress histamine release. So histamine is associated with the allergic response. It increases inflammation. It's associated with wheezing, with coughing, with sniffling, with, itchy, with itchiness as well. And it also constricts smooth muscle, which could lead to shortness of breath, something like asthma. So this mushroom might be a viable alternative to some of those over-the-counter antihistamines. I like to take this mushroom right before I go to bed in tincture form. I find that it has a, a nice calming effect on my system. And if we look into the Chinese reishi mushroom, Ganoderma lucidum, we see that this mushroom was revered as a very spiritual mushroom. So this was sought out by spiritual seekers, by monks, by hermits, by Taoists, because they experienced the calming effect from this mushroom. And I do as well from this species. So it must be something in that Ganoderma genus. Now, if you live in Pennsylvania, this is a great one to look for this time of year. If you don't live in the northeastern United States or Ganoderma suge doesn't grow where you live, you can always find other medicinal mushrooms out there. And in fact, there's Ganoderma curtisii, which is another reishi mushroom, usually a little smaller than this, I find. It has hues of yellow and purples in it. There's also Ganoderma aplanatum, which is a pretty ubiquitous medicinal, medicinal mushroom around here. But regardless, even if you don't find this, even if you don't use this, it's still a great mushroom to appreciate, even if you're looking at pictures online. But if you can, at least get out and look for something that looks like this. It's such a joy to find in the wild. I'm never disappointed when I come across a specimen. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Hey, if you're really into medicinal mushrooms or maybe mushrooms aren't your thing, maybe you're into edible wild plants, maybe you're into the trees, maybe you're into snakes, maybe you're into birds, I encourage you to check out a community that I'm building online at www.learnyourland. 
nature.com and it's a community and database of naturalists here in Pennsylvania and you can search out nature centers, environmental centers, state parks and all kinds of different clubs and organizations that are teaching about these kinds of skills and I would really appreciate it if you could go to the join button at the top of the page and join the community that way you will be able to follow certain naturalists and receive updates whenever they are leading events and you can also communicate with them as well but I really appreciate if you check it out and join the community it would mean a lot to me thanks again for watching this video I really hope you get a chance to get out there and harvest some of those medicinal mushrooms see you next time